Richard was the next question. Uh, it will be I'll be 65 in January, January, and would like to withdraw a partial amount of super, even though I will continue to work and contribute. Also, if you are so, the question is, well, well that's fine if you hit your 65 is the age at which your condition of release sort of catch-all rule comes into play, and so at 65, your super money comes fully eligible to you. If you're drawing it out at that point in time you're over 60 so it's uh, totally tax-free as well so that's fine the other part of it Richard's question was also if you are just overseas holidaying how long can that be before residency is affected now residency um, I'm assuming that the question relates to tax there are a number of layers of rules about whether you're a tax resident or not one of them is um, mm. if you're living more than six months overseas that can affect your residency and that you could become a non-resident and then pay tax from the first dollar of earnings but I'm not sure whether Richard your question also m might relate to if you're on the age pension and at what point in time do they then start to uh, you know stop paying a pension now, that's a little bit more of a complex question but I think it's after six weeks that you start to not receive so the uh, pension supplements start to cease and then how much you get paid beyond that point in time uh, from an age pension perspective depends on how long you've lived in the country between the ages of uh, 16 and 65 and also whether you were on the age pension for two years before you went overseas so a bit more of a complex um, a question there but uh, hopefully that's oh, just I just noticed Richard's actually got his hand up. He may want to talk to you. Oh, okay. Thanks. Um, uh, Richard, did you want us to open the line to ask your question or clarify a question? Did okay. You want... uh, yeah. Uh, you can hear me then? Yes. 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 Yeah. No, it was particularly to uh, to the pension itself. Like I was thinking if I, you know, uh, take pension um, and then go overseas and not actually working overseas, just holidaying, how long can you actually be on holidays overseas before pension is affected? Uh, yeah, I had that in, I'm struggling to remember it off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure it's in this other presentation, so I'll pull it up if I can. Uh, these are the federal budget changes because they, they did change the rule as taper rates. Trisha, living overseas from the first of January, yeah, yeah, the period absent from Australia will be reduced from 26 weeks to just six weeks. After being absent from Australia for six weeks, pensioners who have lived in Australia for less than 35 years will be paid at a reduced rate proportional to the period that they've of their Australian working life residence. That's the 16 to 65 year. So, if you've been living in Australia for 35 years, then your pension supplement will reduce after six weeks, but if you've been in Australia or an Australian working life residence for 35 years between 16 and 65, then you still should get the full age pension, uh, regardless of how long you're overseas. But there also is another rule. Um, uh, importantly, pension is with an Australian working life residence of 35 years or more who are exempt from proportionality rules will not be affected. Um, this used to be 25 years, but they've just increased it to 35 years, I think a budget ago. And then uh, secondly, there also is another rule that if you've just applied for the pension, so you turn 65 and you be, or 65 and a half, whatever your age pension age is, and become eligible for the pension, you also need to be in receipt of that for two years before you go overseas as well, because that can impact it as well. So the best thing to do if you're unsure about that and you're thinking about going overseas for a while, Richard, is just to either make an appointment with a financial information services officer or uh, at Centrelink, or there is an international division of Centrelink who can answer these types of questions as well. You might need to be on hold for a while, but you'll, you'll at least get through to the right person at that point in time. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no, I, we have certainly spent more than 35 years um, in Australia. Um, we're currently in Germany, but um, yeah, I just uh, wondered. Um, I've certainly spent more than 35 years of working life uh, paying tax. Yeah, in, a, in Australia. Australia. And you need to apply for the pension when you are in Australia. You can't apply for it when you are overseas. They'll sort of see yeah. that you're out of the country and say, this not application problem, yeah. is in, invalid because you're not here. So you've got to be back in Australia to do it. Yeah. You're in Germany now, are you, Richard? Uh, yeah, that's correct. Oh, thanks for um, joining us. That, that's great. Uh, any other questions at all there, Richard? Uh, no, thanks. Great. Okay. Thanks for the question and, and uh, doing an audio one. That's great.